what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is yejide and if it's your first time stopping by you are most definitely welcome okay guys so on today's episode i'm going to be showing us how i made this very simple kimono with pockets and drawstrings you can see side drawstrings so guys so this is how it looks like when i draw the string and you know make a knot so you can decide to leave this like this or just tie the knot you can see how beautiful it is so guys if this is something you're interested in let's get right into the video so guys i'm going to be using two yards of this ankara material to make this style so guys this is the front pattern i'm going to be cutting so now i'm going to divide my hip circumference by 4 40 divided by 4 that is 10 inches and i'm going to add 4 inches to that so on fold i'm measuring 14 inches as you can see then you can see i'm just making sure i have 14 inches on the upper part here so now guys the next thing is to measure the neck wideness which is three inches the neck depth which is 1.5 inches i'll connect both measurements together and make a little curve like so so the next thing now is to mark the arm oh guys from the beginning of the material you can see i'm marking 10 inches so this is a cut together with and you know it has no sleeve so we are cutting everything together so guys from the beginning of the material you can see i'm measuring 32 inches so i want the length of this kimono to be 30 inches two inches is for sewing allowance so guys the next thing now is to mark my hip line which is 23 inches yeah this line right here is my half length so guys on the hip line i'm going to mark my hip circumference divided by four that's 10 and i'm going to add four inches to that so guys from that point i'll roll this all the way to the full length of my kimono and also roll it up so guys once i get to my half length my half length is 16 inches and i mark that once i get there i'm just going to make a little curve you know you want to give this a little shape and i'm going to connect this back to the armhole which was 10 inches that i marked earlier so guys the next thing is just to cut this out as you can see this is a very very simple style so guys this is the front pattern the front and the back are basically the same thing so i'm going to use this front pattern to cut out the back pattern first so that you know once i'm done with that the next thing will be to slit this front pattern into two but the first thing you want to do is to use it to cut out the back pattern so i'm going to fold the remainder of my material and place the front pattern on it and just cut it um, out so guys you see why this style is very simple it's because there's no need to join sleeves you know it has its own sleeves so guys now for the front pattern i'm going to mark two inches from the middle all the way down remember that this is a kimono it has um, a slit in the middle so i'm going to cut out these two inches from the front and we are going to be adding our collar around it later so yeah just mark two inches all the way to the full length of your kimono and cut it out so yeah these are the two pieces for the front part so this is what it looks like so i'm just going to fold this aside so guys the next thing is to make my pocket so guys my pocket is eight inches long and seven inches wide you can see seven inches and i'll just connect them together that's what i'm doing this is for the pocket this is very simple to make you can make your pockets you know size as big as you want so i'm going to cut out two of these for both um sides you know for the left and the right so yeah so guys the first thing i'm going to do now is to place my pocket on the two front pieces so before i okay now to place my pocket guys i'm going to mark 15.5 inches you can place your pockets from your half length then from the center front i'm going to come in by two inches so that is where i'm going to be placing my pocket on so guys before you place your pockets don't forget to m the beginning or the edges like so fold it twice and m it and also guys to make placing your pocket very easy to sew down you can go ahead to iron the remaining three sides you know just fold it once and iron this in i'm going to do this to both pockets and bring it back to show you guys what i mean 
so here it is guys i've gonna add so you know iron the sides like i mentioned so this is what it looks like so now guys don't forget that two inches i came in by earlier so i'm going to place this pocket on that part like so and i'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and sew around the remaining three sides of this pocket i'll do the same thing to the other side so guys here it is i've gonna add to sew down my pocket you can see it looking very fine i'm also gonna add to iron this so you can see this is what it looks like so now guys the next thing is to you know join the front and the back together so guys this is the right side of the front part facing me so i'm going to place the right side of the front parts also on the back like so and i'm going to take this to the sewing machine to join down the shoulders you can see i'm going to join down the shoulders by half of an inch and also i'm going to join the sides by um one inch yes so guys it is very important to join the sides by one inch because this side they are joining by one inch is what you are going to be placing your strings on later so please join them well and leave enough allowance so here it is guys i'm gonna add to join the sides i've joined the shoulders and as you can see i've ironed the seam allowance inside on both sides like i said this is very important because this is where i'm going to be placing the strings on later so guys i've also gonna add to m the sleeves you know very simple just fold them twice and you know m them i'm just trimming the edges of the kimono so you know i have a leveled um hedge so now guys i'm taking measurements of my collar round you know just take measurement of what you have um on the collar and as you can see i've gotten 60 plus so here 60 plus 10 or 11 that's around 71 inches so this is to enable me know the length of the collar to cut out so guys i'm gonna have to cut out my collar you can see this collar i folded it twice it's very long so you can see this is 38 inches 38 times 2 that's going to give me over 70 inches so that's how you make your collar make it long then the wideness is 4.5 inches when i opened it up and unfold it is 2.5 inches remember we cut out two inches from the front of the kimono the other time then the half inch is for sewing allowance so guys this is my collar i'm just going to make a notch in the middle you know i'm going to start um sewing this from the middle and i also went to the back of my kimono the back part i marked the mid neck and i'm going to place the notched collar you know on that part and i'm going to sew this down all the way to the front i hope we really understand this as this is very simple you know i'm going to sew this all the way by half of an inch so guys here it is i've gone ahead to sew my collar to my kimono and you can see my kimono is already coming to life yeah so guys the next thing now is to aim the edges i'm simply going to fold the edges twice and sew this down so i'm gonna add to do that so this is what it looks like so guys the last thing now is to attach my strings to the side so now to do this i'm gonna have to make four strings this is very easy to make you can make your strings whatever length you desire you know from 18 inches to 20 inches to 22 inches mine is 22 inches so i made four of this and you know it's very simple to make just fold your fabric like a bias and you know sew down so guys remember i told you that um you should make sure you have enough allowances on the side seams and then open them flat and iron them so this is because we are going to be making a casing for the strings using these seams right so now guys this seems i'm just going to fold them once just very tiny you can go ahead to iron this so it'll be very easy for you i'm just going to um you know fold this in and sew down so and i'm going to make this casing seven inches long as you can see seven inches so i'm going to stop where the chalk mark is i'm going to do the same thing for the other side just fold in and sew down in a straight line so here it is guys i'm gonna add to make my casing i've done the same thing to the other side so now guys the next thing 
is to use a safety pin to hook on the string and then i'm going to pass this into my string casing not that i did not sew the you know upper part the beginning of this um, string casing this is because so that's you know my pin my safety pin can come out through the other end so yeah this is it you can see i'm going to do the same thing for the other side just use a safety pin to pass in your string as you can see and i'm going to make sure that this comes out on the other side so yeah so my strings are out so guys the next thing is to adjust these strings and you know lock them down so that they don't move you know from this upper part i'm just going to lock this upper part here i'm going to sew on it and i'll, and I'll double stitch and triple stitch <laughs> i'm going to do the same thing to the other side yes yeah, so as you can see it's very easy to you know you can easily draw it now you can see the beauty so guys we've come to the end of our tutorial if you have any questions for me please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below please guys don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'll see you all in the next video bye